you can see our situation is we're very close to the water. Uh, it's fairly dark and misty night. We're looking at a beautiful bridge and a huge shipping container behind it. One of the most important things when photographing landscapes is to compose very carefully with a foreground, a midground and a background. The reason being that we have to make the entire composition of the landscape. We have no other elements except for the country and the land itself. So you have to be quite specific about objects that you focus on when it's a very large landscape. You know, your focal point should be maybe around the middle and you use a very long exposure with a very high aperture of around about f32. Uh, Ansel Adams is a very, very famous landscape photographer and he used a system that he called the F64 system, which was, or the zone system. It was designed for printing in black and white, but uh, it's actually very useful when you're looking at shooting landscapes. And particularly if you're looking at documenting our changing landscape, I think that there should be many more landscape photographers because we're looking at climate change right now. With a long exposure, have a very slow shutter speed and a very high aperture, we'll get lots of beautiful soft movement in the water and that will be our foreground. The bridge will be our mid-ground and then beyond that is our background. Again, we're shooting in very flat conditions, so we have to jazz it up a little bit with what we know. I'll probably develop these as black and white photographs. So let's have a look at it. So I've just done a few shots of this beautiful boat coming in, so hopefully it'll be nice and atmospheric. Um, I've focused on the foreground so that it will be, its depth of field will be um, slightly limited. Um, we've got a bit of rain coming down here at the moment. As I said before, you need to be prepared for all conditions as a landscape photographer. Um, these kind of conditions can add very different dimensions to a normal photograph. Also, the other thing that we can do is look at the macro side of things. Um, we can go in tight on areas and just concentrate on the textures and the colours of the rocks and the water. 